to WizKids, the exciting game show where knowledge is power and young minds shine. I am your host, Ramona Luti, and with me are some of the brightest and sharpest students from across Guyana who are here to test their knowledge in the core subject areas related to the National Grade 6 Assessment. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants. Contestant number one, can you tell me your name, age, and school, please? My name is Agnes Siju. I am 11 years old and I attend Marin Academy. Welcome. Contestant number two. My name is Arshad Han Siraj. I'm 10 years old and I attend Camille's Academy, Diamond Location. All right. Contestant number three. My name is Tony McCalmont. I'm 11 years old and I attend Rosignal Primary. There are four categories of questions. Mathematics, Science, English and Social Studies. The host will select the first category and read the first question. Contestants will compete for the opportunity to answer questions by hitting their assigned buzzer. Once a question is read to completion, the contestants can then hit their buzzer. Contestants must keep their hands to their sides while a question is being read. The first contestant to hit their buzzer will be identified by the buzzer system and the host will then call on the contestant to answer the question. Once called upon by the host, the contestant has 10 seconds to answer the question. If a contestant answers the question correctly, they will be awarded 5 points and be allowed to select the category of the next question. If a contestant fails to answer a question correctly, the host will share the correct answer and will then select the category of the next question. Once a total of 40 questions has been exhausted, the contestant with the most points is declared the winner and will proceed on to the next round of competition. If any contestants have the same number of points or there is a tie, those contestants will then advance to a bonus round. The bonus round will contain five questions from any of the four categories, following the same rules and format as outlined. All right, ready to start? Yes. Let's go straight into it. Let's start with science, please. The process of weathering is mostly caused by A, sun, rain and winds, B, sun, floods and heat, C, wind, thunder and heat, or D, flood, rain, and thunder. Contestant number two. Weathering is caused by sun, rain, and winds. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay science. What does the Richter scale measure? All right, no one attempted to answer that question, but the Richter scale measures the magnitude of an earthquake. Let's move to social studies, please. Which Caricom state is closest to Guyana? Contestant number one. Suriname. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, same social studies. The Middle Passage is associated with the forced migration of which ethnic group? Contestant number one. The Africans. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, English. The light was like sunshine. What is the meaning of the simile in this sentence? Contestant number three. Like sunshine. Pardon me? Like sunshine. The sentence reads, the light was like sunshine. You need to tell me what it means. It means... The light The light shone like sun sunshine. Okay, so I'm sorry, I won't be able to accept that. What it's telling me is that the light was bright. <laughs> like the sun, like sunshine. Alright? Okay, let's proceed to mathematics, please. 17 minus 3.71 equals Contestant number one. Um, 14.39. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would have been 13.29. All right, let's proceed to social studies, please. 
Why did the Europeans initially come to Guyana? Contestant number one. In search, the Europeans initially ca came to Guyana in search of El Dorado. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, English. Alliteration is the repetition of consonants. True or false? Um, true. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, social studies. Name four symbols of nationhood. Contestant number two. The national anthem. The golden arrowhead. The coat of arms. And our national pledge. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science, please. True or false? All crabs are crustaceans. Contestant number one. True. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Words which sound alike or are spelled alike but have different meanings are called... Contestant number one. Homophones. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would have been homonyms. All right, let's move to mathematics, please. 150% represented in decimal is... Zero point one five. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would be 1.5. All right, let's move to science, please. What is the name of the main star found in our solar system? Contestant number one. The sun. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. In the sentence, she writes every day is the verb writes plural or singular? Contestant number one. Plural. That is incorrect. The correct answer would be singular, all right? Because it's referring to one person. The subject is she writes, okay? Okay. All right, social studies, please. What is the term for the line of latitude marked zero, zero? Contestant number one. The equator. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Which vessels were used by Christopher Columbus in his first voyage of discovery to the Caribbean? The Contestant San number two. The Santa Maria. Okay, I'm assuming you finished answering. However, the question read, which vessels? All right, we were looking for more. So it'd be Santa Maria, Pinta, and Nina. All right? Let's proceed to mathematics, please. What is 32.152 rounded to the nearest tenths? Contestant number three. 32.162. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We asked for the nearest tenths, so it would have been 32.2. All right, let's proceed to science, please. Why does Guyana experience dry and wet climates? Contestant number two. Because we're six degrees above the equator. That is correct. Because we are near the equator. All right. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Which ethnic group is associated with the Yumana Yana? Contestant number two. <laughs> the Amor Indians. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Which symbol on the coat of arms serves as a reminder to Guyanese of Guyana's colonial past? Contestant number one. The helmet. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Identify the part of speech of the underlined word in the following sentence. He told Mary and I to be there and Test number two. A conjunction. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Social studies. What is the importance of having rules in school? Contestant number two. It helps to keep the children and the teachers safe. That is correct. And to ensure discipline. 
Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. This is the last question for the social study category. What is the name of the city where the headquarters of CARICOM is located? Contestant number three. Trinidad and Tobago. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be Georgetown. Let's proceed to science, please. Vegetable skin is an example of something waste. Contestant number two. Domestic waste. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. What is the type of teeth that is used for cutting food? Contestant number one. Um, canines. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be incisors. Let's proceed to English, please. Her eyes were diamonds is an example of what rhetorical device? Contestant number two. They shone brightly. I'm sorry, we asked for what rhetorical device it was. That would be a metaphor. Okay, let's proceed to mathematics, please. What is 12.542 rounded to the nearest whole number? Contestant number two. 13. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies was exhausted, right? Yes. Science. Raul just ran a 100 meters race. What is one change his body would have experienced? A. His heart rate increases. B. His heart rate decreases. C. Blood circulation decreases. Or D. His breathing rate slows down. Contestant number two. A. His heart rate increases. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. What is a compound sentence? Contestant number two. A compound sentence is a sentence that contains more than one sentences. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. Something describes the breaking down or dissolving of rocks and minerals on the surface of the earth. Contestant number one. Weathering. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. What are synonyms? Contestant number one. Synonyms are words that have the same meaning. Yes, that is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Same English. A punctuation mark that is used to join two words to form a compound noun is known as an interrogative. True or false? Contestant number one. False. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay English. This is the last English question. An exclamation mark is used in sentences to show... Contestant number two. A command. We won't be able to accept that response. An exclamation mark shows emotion. An interrogative sentence shows command. Okay? All right. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. 3.48 kg is equal to how many grams? Contestant number two. 3,480 grams. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. We've exhausted English and social studies. Science, please. This is the last science question. What is the chemical symbol of ice? Contestant number two. All right. So the chemical symbol of ice would be the same as water, which is H2O. All right, we're going to proceed with the only category available, mathematics. When 11 over 20 is changed to a percentage, the result is something. Contestant number one. Uh, 55%. That is correct. Next math question, please. 0 0.15 represented as a fraction in its lowest terms is... Contestant number two. Three over 20. That is correct. Next math question, please. 
what is the value of the digit 9 in 2.439? Contestant number 3. Ones. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct response would be nine thousandths. All right. How many degrees are there in a straight line? Contestant number one. 180 degrees. That is correct. And the last question for this episode of Wiz Kids. Solve this. Open bracket. 50 minus 27, close bracket. Plus four, open bracket. Seven, close brackets. Equals... Contestant number two. One of four, seven, 31. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct response would have been 51. All right. Based on the scores outlined above, there was a close call between contestants one and two. We have Agnes, contestant number one, in the lead for this episode of Wizkids 2024. Congrats. Congrats, participants, for making it this far. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Ghana Learning Channel's Wiz Kids Show. Join us next time for even more excitement, challenges, and friendly competition. I am your host, Ramona Luti, saying goodbye and see you in the next episode. I feel good about my performance to the Young Wiz Kids. I actually felt kind of happy competing with them because they tried their best.